Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. I'm Sim Mura here and in today's video we are gonna be talking a little bit over some Street Fighter 5 matches and also uh, we're gonna be talking a little bit about Street Fighter 6 and the potential for an online beta because uh, a couple of months ago I think, uh, I think it was two months ago, I did a poll, a community poll and was asking you guys do you think that Street Fighter 6 will get an online beta and we had like an 84% saying yes uh, but then a couple of days ago I did a poll on Twitter, similar poll and we got like 70% yes so people are starting to lose hope in an open beta for Street Fighter uh, 5 obviously so far they have been showing the uh, Ryu, Jamie, Luke and Sean build that is the one thing that they've been showing everywhere and that uh, I, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of getting tired of seeing that build I want to see something new I want to see some other characters and on the Tokyo game show I think that is the 15th or the 16th they are going to be showing more of the game and a newer build here obviously we are using Cody, we're fighting against Ryu, calling the King of Rocks. And when you have someone <laughs> V-Trigger activate and then like woke up Barry, that's crazy. I'll, I'll let you guys know, if you've never played against French players, you're in for a treat. Uh, obviously I hear a lot about Brazilian Kens, but Brazilian Kens got nothing on French Ryu's. You haven't seen how French Ryu's play, they are terrific, they're really terrific. French players in general are like very risky like they play with no care in the world uh pretty intimidating to fight uh, if i have to say anyways and the guy's named call uh, his name is king of rocks so he's pretty much letting you know like what he's gonna try to do uh anyways uh let's go back to this idea of street fighter 6 one of the things about the game having an open beta is that in the boss couple of games for capcom uh, i think this were street fighter 5 and Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, things didn't go that well for them when they did an open beta. Uh, for Street Fighter V, the roster got leaked, and for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, uh, the game was really in a bad look. Uh, one thing I just want to say, obviously here when I activated my V-Trigger, I did the medium bunch, heavy bunch target combo, but the lag ate it. And this is the main concern for Street Fighter 6 right now. A lot of us are really concerned about the net code, and maybe Capcom don't want to put out a beta because they are afraid that maybe something bad will happen, maybe people will like data mine the game and find stuff, maybe they're afraid that uh, something will go wrong with it and the game will become a meme worth worthy, right? Uh, like uh, something, so something that I have actually been hearing a lot uh, in games uh, these days is that companies really hate it when their games become memes, right? Or like uh, people make fun of them uh, because obviously that is bad business, not a good look for the company. So maybe that is the case, but who knows? Uh, they have been showing that build around, like I said, and uh, obviously in the Tokyo Game Show, we will get to see an updated build for Street Fighter uh, 6. We will finally get to see Guile, Kimberly, Jury, and obviously with the rest of the characters, and I'm sure the game will have some tweaks, like system tweaks and everything, uh, by the next time we see it. So that's really exciting. And they did actually announce that they will also reveal more on the other game modes as well so that is exciting obviously one thing that i want to say is that street fighter 6 looks much further in development than uh, street fighter 5 was at the same time frame right uh, if we're talking like august to august street fighter 6 looks much further in development typically at least for the previous couple of games capcom have released their games in the january to march window and if i remember correctly uh, we got uh street fighter cross tekken in february we got street fighter 5 in february and even when they released like the champion edition and the arcade edition it was the june or the, the january it's the same window january to march right and i think champion edition was like february or something so it's like the same the first quarter pretty much and given that we pretty much know at least if the leak is correct like we know the main roster or the starting roster for the game finger crossed it seems like at least to me it's kind of difficult for street fighter 6 to actually hit that window maybe they want to release it when it's finished and ready maybe they want to wait and uh don't really want to take away a lot of Resident Evil 4 because Resident Evil 4 as a remake is also launching in that window I'm not really sure 
but I'm starting to actually feel like Street Fighter 6 might be further than we are expecting. Uh, I'm starting to feel like maybe it's actually a summer release or maybe it's just a little bit before EVO. Uh, obviously one thing that we also have to consider is that they're doing the uh, EVO Japan and EVO Japan is being done in March so it is looking likely that Street Fighter V might still be there and I know this might be a little bit deflating for some of us because we want to play uh, the new game. Uh, Street Fighter VI at this point, uh, I feel like we have seen enough of it already as well to the point where I want to play it. This is one of my main issues uh, with Capcom somewhat is that when they reveal a game, uh, they, they like they like to go around conventions and show it to everyone so you see so much of the game before it comes out and I feel like you either go all in on that route and just put like open beta and put everything and let really the community be in on all of things or just let it cook and build up anticipation because I can't be the only one that feels like with the leaks and now that we're seeing so much of the game I feel like it's, it's starting to run a little bit out of steam. Like, I'm not sure if we can keep up that level of hype. I feel like at least now it's certainly less hype than it was when it was first revealed. And obviously, we, we're kind of robbed of the, uh, like the character reveals, right? It feels like a lot of people are already like playing it so much. Anyways, uh, there is like, there is like a YouTuber that is like, seems like it's been having like days with the game. So who knows? Uh, but anyways, um, that is pretty much it for my thoughts on the game. Let's now talk a little bit about what's going on in this match because James is actually a really good player. Uh, this is the Alex guy. He's actually pretty fantastic and uh, I really like having matches with him. He's pretty great. I was trying to look out for the elbow, right? And generally try to sway that. Uh, elbow is one of the main approaches for Alex. I haven't really tried like swaying it on reaction but I figured why not actually try to sway obviously here I was very fortunate like that was a very lucky uh, that was like, like that was like top tier luck uh, EX zone because I should really have gotten punished here I thought I got the counter hit but I didn't and obviously with Alex one of the things that you kind of have to be worried about is that he can do the jumping and then cancel into the uh, like have a, like a dive punch kind of thing and uh, I was always kind of worried about it because he was jumping a lot but he never really did it and every time I thought he did he would do it he didn't do it so he was kind of really mixing me up with that like I said I really really like James I think he's actually a really sick player I always have fun matches with him his defense is also really top tier uh, like his bottom interruption and his throw timing, utilization of back dash, V shift, pretty hard to uh, press on defense. Alex versus Cody in general, like this have got to be like one of the most, if not the most volatile matchups in the game. Here I did the medium bunch and I tried to do like a Krufian, but sometimes, um, and you will know this if you actually been uh, Blade Ryu, or if you Blade Ryu earlier, when you have uh, moves that have overlapping inputs, like let's say you have uh, like the fireball and the Rufian kicks, and they're both quarter circle forward, sometimes when you try to do the kick version, uh, or like sometimes you get the emote swaps, right? Like here I got the negative edge tornado sweep instead of getting the Rufian. Happens sometimes, unfortunately. And that was like such a sick cross cut uh, DB with him or for him and bam going for that because it can be hard to react because here Alex can dash forward he can do the elbow he can go for the heavy kick he can go for the storm like it's, it's, it's a tough mix in general and I feel like Alex now with his new V trigger he's getting a lot more offense when he gets knocked down I feel like it's one of the scarier V triggers in the game so this match is looking a lot more competitive than uh, I initially anticipated like I said, James is actually really good. And one of the things I've said in my previous video, like don't be fixating on anything. And I was really fixated on the uh, swaying the elbows. So that really hurt. Here we go for the uh, option select on the grab. And now I'm starting to do a lot more anti-airs. Obviously lag, like this was supposed to be like the medium kick, a medium punch into Rufian, but the lag ate it. So. It's always unfortunate when that happens. It's really always unfortunate. And as you see, I'm starting to anti-air a lot more. 
Like, am I, like he's gonna have to do it now to convince me to stop doing it. This was kind of the same deal as well. Uh, maybe it's something that I need to work on. Uh, maybe try to delay cancel my time. But with standing medium bunch, the cancel window isn't that big, so maybe that's why it happens. I get lucky with my guess on the V shift and I get it. One thing that has been kind of wrecking me so far in this match is that I am misjudging the range on Alex's uh, standing heavy kick. It seems to uh, reach a lot further than I anticipate, so instead of getting a wave punish on it, I actually end up getting a boot to my face, so that, that kind of sucks. And here obviously I was trying to wave punish his forward heavy punch, but it doesn't seem to extend that much hurt box. Uh, that move have to be ridiculous, honestly. Probably the most buffed move in the history. Here we got footsies, we got sick wave punish. Nah, nice activation. Uh, Nice, and obviously sending a light kick for Cody is very good. Uh, I think here he tried to do DB, but he got that by accident, and I can't believe he actually recovered out of that. I'm not sure if that that was a storm. I I, I don't believe they give it like that little of a recovery. But we are in a good place here. We can just chill and try to check out him if he like try to interrupt. Uh, obviously he's trying to go for a lot of uh, approaches with the air and all of that, but we are keeping him in check, and he didn't really mix up his approach. He was doing a lot of jumps. And yeah, we got the game. Uh, so let me know your thoughts uh, on the whole Street Fighter 6 open beta thing. If you have enjoyed this game, uh, if you're looking forward to it, and if you enjoy this type of video, maybe we uh, will focus more on the gameplay in the next videos. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe.